Hello everyone, my name is Susie Chant and I am the MLA for North Vancouver Seymour. For me, July 1st has always been a day of parades, festivities and fireworks that I enjoy with my family and friends. Over the years I've celebrated with my loved ones the opportunity this country has provided me. For many people who live in Canada, our country represents a safe place where they can grow, thrive and achieve their dreams. We are surrounded by nature's beauty, oceans, valleys, plains and mountains. As well, we have bustling busy cities and smaller communities that we call home. Our schools are full and opportunities are plentiful. However, this Canada Day, I am very aware that these feelings are not universal and the legacy we celebrate is a complex and often tragic one. I am cognizant that for many, Canada Day can be a painful reminder of the cultural genocide and systemic oppression that defines this nation's foundation and growth. This is a legacy that remains to this day. The discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves containing children's remains at former residential schools, both here in BC and other parts of Canada, as well as the horrific act of terror we saw in London, Ontario, are just the most recent reminders of this. We know these incidents are not anomalies, and we must face this reality steadfastly and with clear eyes if we are to have any hope of changing our future. We are still a country where Indigenous people are disproportionately incarcerated, discriminated against, and systemically excluded from opportunity. We are a country that has been seeing rising anti-Asian hate crimes, rising anti-Semitism, and where anti-Muslim violence continues to be rampant. Racially based violence and hatred continues to be an epidemic in this nation. Canada Day will not be celebrated by everyone. I know that, I have heard that, and I respect that. Personally, I will take this day to spend time safely with my family and reflect upon what it means to be Canadian and the multitude of challenges we still face as a nation. It is a time for gratitude, but also for mourning, an opportunity to be honestly confronting the past, but also to think of the future. Most importantly, this is a time to renew my efforts at reconciliation and healing. This year, we can still be proud of our amazing efforts as a nation over the last year to combat COVID-19. We can be proud of our frontline workers who have done so much to keep us safe. We can be proud of every single person who showed up to get a vaccine to keep everyone around them safe. And we can look forward to better days ahead very soon because of those efforts. So on this Canada Day, take the time to acknowledge both the darker and brighter aspects of Canada. Be proud of the hard work and good things we've done as a nation and acknowledge and commit to making changes we need to achieve reconciliation and to make Canada a country we can all truly be proud of. Thank you so much.